Hi, I'm Kenny Yates, and this is Not for the Week of Heart. Our video today is entitled, Can Participating in Halloween Open Spiritual Doors? We'll explore this question in more detail. Can you open doors to the spirit world through participation in the things of the occult? So let's jump right into it with this question. What are spiritual doors? Well, doors signify communication with, agreement with, passage in from another place or from one place to another, a transition or an opportunity either for a person or for a spiritual being, whether that being is a good being or an evil being. What I mean is this, in Revelation chapter 3, verse 20 says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and eat with him and he with me. See, spiritual beings, not even Jesus or the Holy Spirit, are allowed to enter a person unless that person invites the spiritual being in by opening a spiritual door. And you open spiritual doors by invitation through participation in spiritual acts, either good or bad. They can knock, but unless you open door, they cannot come in. That is God's safety key given to us so that we can have full control over whom we have communion or, or who, who we will commune and fellowship with, even if it's Him. In short, it's all our decision. Beyonce admitted to opening a door for her alter ego, Sasha Fierce, to enter her before a concert by lifting up her hands and, and opening up herself to this spiritual being. Now, as I said, doors can either be used for good or for evil spirits to enter, or for the person to enter. Here's another example of opening a spiritual door for a person. Paul told the Corinthian church in his letter, in 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 8 through 9, But I will stay in Ephesus until Pentecost, for a wide door for effective work has opened to me, and there are many adversaries. See, God had opened a spiritual door, which was an opportunity for Paul to preach the good news in Ephesus. But many adversaries were there trying to close that door or trying to force Paul not to walk through that open door. You see, the spirit world fights against us so that we will not walk through the doors that God has opened for us, but they are not able to shut that door. Not even man can shut the door that God opens. See, God told the church in Philadelphia that it was he who opens and no one can shut, who shuts and no one opens. He then went on to tell them that he had set before them an open door which no one is able to shut. That's found in Revelation chapter 3 verse 7 through 8. So doors are pathways into us or into areas or into situations or even into opportunities as well as openings into new seasons in our life. I know a lot of Christians are always looking forward to a new season, a new season, a new season. But the reality is new seasons aren't always a good thing because a season can also cause one to backslide if he or she is not careful. Because sometimes a season is in the crucible and sometimes that crucible gets very, very hot. Things get very, very difficult and then it can cause people never to recover from it. Just like the people of Israel, when they came out of Egypt, did not make it into the promised land, even though their stay in the desert was only intended for only a short season. God had opened a door for them, but they would not walk through the open door because of fear, because of unbelief, and because of grumbling. So God closed that spiritual door, the door to their inheritance, the door to their blessings, and the door then that was flung open was the door of death. 
because this is what the scripture says in Hebrews chapter 3 verse 16 through 19 for who were those who heard and yet rebelled was it not all those who left Egypt led by Moses and with whom was he provoked for 40 years was it not with those who sinned whose bodies fell in the wilderness and to whom did he swear that they would not enter his rest but to those who were disobedient so we see that they were unable to enter they were unable to enter that door because of what because of unbelief so unbelief disobedience and grumbling can shut doors of blessings let me give you an example of a closed door now acts chapter 16 verse 6 and they went through the region of phrygia and galatia having been forbidden by the holy spirit to speak the word in asia now paul could have forced the door open but it would only end in disaster if he was to do that and paul knew that because he took an example from the israelites who tried to force the door open in deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 42 through 44 because it ended in defeat for those people. God had told them not to go and fight because he was not going with them and they would be defeated by their enemies, but they would not listen. They went anyway, forcing the door open. And guess what? Disaster hit them big time. You cannot force a closed door open and, uh, and go in unscathed. It will cost you big time. Well, the bottom line is this. Participation is always, always a way of opening spiritual doors. So are you opening spiritual doors in your life? I wonder, are you opening spiritual doors in the life of your loved ones? Or are you opening doors in your ministry by participating in the occult? And believe me, Halloween is the occult. Christians should never participate in any occult practice, no matter how harmless it seems. Whatever that practice may be, it doesn't matter because it is really evil in the eyes of the Lord. So in summary, yes, participation in the occult will open spiritual doors just like playing the Ouija board will open spiritual doors so will the participation in any type of occult practice including Halloween I don't care how fun it seems I don't care how your children love Halloween it is a occult practice and it will open spiritual doors and more than likely it's doors that you do not want to be opened. I want to say thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, would you please hit the like button and would you share the video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. I'm Kenny Yates. This is Not For The Weak Of Heart. Be blessed and stay blessed.